all right y'all know what it is we back with another hair video it's featuring you nice today these are some of the extras that they send a wig cap some lashes a little makeup brush also they sent a wig band and a little bag for you to put all your stuff in when you done with it okay when you done getting your hair done now this is the wig this is their curly unit it is a five by five and it's glueless pop on and go okay very easy super low maintenance now this is what the scalp is giving okay it does look like it could use at least one bleach in okay because you can still kind of see the knots but i feel like if you hit it with some um some concealer or some foundation that would disguise it a little bit because the lace is already good but you know and it's pre-cut i forgot to i forgot to tell y'all it's pre-cut but yeah that's what it's giving it could use a, 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 at least one bleach bath on the lace but yeah nonetheless it's still really good and i do feel like this wig is like a 22 or 24 i'll have the correct length in the description but i feel like it's giving 22 maybe only because it's curly you know once you wash it the curls drop anyway i'm using makeup by mario as the foundation that belongs to my client it's not mine she bought her foundation so i can uh, not client look at me sounding unprofessional anyway she bought it so i could tint her lace because i am about to pop this on her head because she was kind enough to let me do this uh, you know for my video purposes my content purposes so yeah i'm just tinting the lace going over it a few times making sure i got it because sometimes i'll be missing spots or not going back too far okay so this is my beautiful model jazz and i'm putting this wig grip on there if you on her if you not new here then you know i love using a wig grip um very easy low maintenance i'm just putting a little bit of foundation now we're about to pop this sucker on so we popping the wig on and we did decide to go ahead and take the wig grip off off camera because i feel like it was just a little bit too much and she has a very low hairline she doesn't really need a ball cap or a wig grip with lace or anything like that I didn't really like how it looked with the wig grip, basically. Now, I know y'all might look at this wig and be like, oh, it looks perfectly fine. Like, no, I feel like it was making the um, lace on the wig look wrinkled and making it lift up. If you know, you know. Sometimes it, a wig grip or ball cap is just not necessary. Anyway, I'm about to go on with this Shine and Jam mousse, which I didn't know they had in my lace of the game because I just bought it. So, yeah, the mousse worked really good. It wasn't sticky or anything like that. I don't know why I expected it to be sticky, but it wasn't. So, yeah, I just pretty much finger combed that mousse in. The hair texture was very nice, soft, and bouncy. The curl pattern is exquisite, okay? However, the wig did shed. It didn't shed anything crazy. I definitely have had worse shedding with wigs, but this one is still shed. And for curly type hair, like this texture, you kind of expect that. I did run my fingers to this wig a few times throughout recording this video and each time I ran my fingers through it I did have shedding luckily the wig is thick however I know if you're purchasing this with your hard-earned money that may annoy you so um you can seal the wefts if necessary I know some people really don't care that much but you definitely can seal these wefts now this is us just checking it out she's trying to adjust it to her head because like I said it wasn't fitting her head too well she said it wasn't like a snug fit or anything so yeah we just adjusted it a little bit played around with it and at this point the wig cap is still on but it will get taken off i'll let y'all know when to take it off because i feel like it'll look different but yeah i'm just trying to straighten out that part and now i'm gonna just hit the top just to make it a little flatter honestly looking back i didn't need to however it probably it do look different on camera i'm not even gonna lie because in person it was giving humpty dumpty sat on the wall i had a great fall but on camera it looks pretty decent it just mm -mm, it was giving humpy in person so i just hit it with the hot comb a few times on both sides so now i'm just um hand plucking the um not hand plucking the hot comb <laughs> i'm hand plucking the lace because i feel like it's easier than plucking with tweezers because sometimes i can over pluck and the the hairline was actually very natural in person i feel like what that was in the front was the part that you were supposed to cut for baby hair they left out a section for baby hair but um jazz my beautiful model did not want baby hair and i really we both agreed that it wasn't necessary because the hairline looked really good so we didn't we didn't go that route it looks good without it to be honest and you know we just talking a lot and boom jazz looking like a baddie even more of a baddie than she already was at this point we took the wig cap i mean the wig grip off off camera okay and i feel like it looked a lot better now i'm going in with this got to be wax i feel like it's better than a wax stick because it's less greasy on the hair and you can spray as much as you need so basically i'm just getting the flyaways and i'm getting the front part so i can hot comb it back and have it give that more so of a natural hairline you know 
and it looked good i really feel like this wig is very low maintenance although we did make adjustments off camera like taking off the wig grip there's not much else that we did off camera everything that i'm showing y'all is pretty much everything that i did it, it's not a high maintenance gotta do the most type of wig okay it's one of them wigs that you can definitely pop on and go because it's glueless okay pre-cut lace if you real about to if you about to show off for a special occasion bleach the knots if not hit it with some concealer and you you finna be good to go you finna be good to go because nobody should be all up on your wig like that if they can see the if they can see the screen dog they too close you too close back it up ma'am but look look at this it's giving very much scalp okay you can definitely see where i'm pulling up the lace you can see it lifting but once i put it back down it definitely melts back into the forehead and that's what your glueless wig should give always okay you should never have a glueless wig that look like it need to be glued down period y'all know what i forgot to mention that i did actually wash this wig this so this is the curl pattern dropped okay so when it came it was a lot tighter than this but this is after a wash this is how it looks after a wash beautiful didn't even have any um super harsh smells what i'm doing here is i'm cutting a little bit of lace because like i said the wig wasn't a tight fit for her head and it was making the lace look wrinkled so um wrinkled up and looking like lifted you know so i needed to cut a little bit off to give her that natural seamless like forehead melted look you know so it's not at this point but it's in like a few seconds you about to see um it's the final look and that's when we took off the wig grip and i also hit her part with some concealer i didn't mean to do all that off camera i literally forgot to press the record button but you about to see it like right here okay now at this point i'm just asking jazz you know how she feel about it she checking herself out she knows she look good per period this is a closer look at the curl pattern popping the curl pattern is what i love i live for juicy curls like this and the texture is very soft Ooh, if y'all like this wig definitely check out the link in the description okay you nice always got the steals and the deals okay so link in the description this is a closer look at the lace no baby hair necessary y'all already know the vibes if y'all like this video definitely give it a thumbs up leave a comment and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye